Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today I saw the release of Elite Dungeons 3 and I have to say it's very nice. Uh, it's quite brute forcible and I thought I would quickly show some of the methods that we've worked out after just a couple of hours. So please bear that in mind. I'm sure methods will develop as people's understandings and the mechanics improve. Uh, from my own experience, I started off just doing duo and a lot of the mechanics of the, especially Ambassador, so that's the third last boss or the main boss and the second one as well. Um, are much more obvious and actually have an effect on how you do it uh, when you're in a duo or solo. In a trio, if you've got good damage, a lot of this stuff you can just brute force through. So a lot of this sort of methods that I'm going to show in these just these three clips, one of each boss, are going to be sort of just raw damage, the fastest way to complete and repeat. Plan is obviously to get a solo guide and then a sort of non-speed guide um, up for those of you that wanting to do solos, duos, and trios that aren't quite as elite or damage orientated, and you can't just sort of brute force. Um, so hopefully, I'll get those up later on this week. Other than that, let's jump right in. First up is the Crassian Leviathan. This first boss is very simple. Uh, it sort of only has two mechanics and. One of them you shouldn't really get to, which is that it just spawns down the other end once you've had a certain period of time up this end. Uh, it's very simple, just sunshine, um, big damage to start with, and it's very mechanic you're looking for is it either will spawn to the east or the west, and it starts off and does kind of a spray, as you'll see on, in just a second. Now here it starts on the other side of us, and it's lethal if you're standing in it. Um, you just have to make sure that you're on the other side. Once it starts that one, it will do the other side. You can see here that I actually run back slightly too early but that's fine i take the very last hit and i'm just trying to be efficient with damage um with three of you this is really easy just to damage down after that mechanic there's basically nothing else it just does auto attacks there's really nothing else to it so on to the second boss then this one actually has quite a few interesting mechanics uh, and in duo and solo will provide a little bit of entertainment so the main way that you're going to do this one as you'll see on screen is basically a metamorphosis to start um, big damage then let it do the east crystal which is its first one um, then you sort of sit around and wait a little bit uh, and then just do threshes for the second sort of phasing after it's healed up and done its uber heal um, and then hopefully you phase it just as it spawns the I can't remember what it's called but it's basically a ring you kill the ring and then you just re you can natty if you like depends on how fast you've done it um, and then you can just re-sun or meta if you're in a super quick team. My friend here, in, I think in this clip, is actually just trying out melee on the set, on the last bit. So I think he ends up dying. But uh, sunshine on me um, meta for the last phase are fine. And you just sip your uh, jellies and gothic sprues. It's pretty simple. Um, you don't take too much damage. Just watch your prayer. It does do mage and range. But clearly when it's doing... It's Death Swift. It does do a sort of Death Swift around it. It's going to range and then the rest of the hits, the sort of more fiery are um, mage hits. Um, you can obviously try and remove the skellies where, with AoEs where it's applicable, but don't waste too much time sort of focusing down on any of the minions. It's not really worth it. Try and separate the minions from being tanked by the same person. Uh, it does help just with food consumption, etc. On the last phase as well, it can spawn this series of ghosts. They are really lethal, so make sure you watch out for those and call them for your teammates if you are on Discord, etc. Um, they will they hit 2Ks every tick. You can see the spawn them behind me now. I just surge away from them, uh, and then we manage to kill it. I think my partner here gets comboed out because he prays the wrong thing, but other than that, it's fine. And so moving on to the ambassador, the sort of main boss. Now, this boss actually, as I said, has a lot of mechanics that in... A duo or a solo you have to abide by um, but when you're doing a trio and you have enough damage you can bypass a lot of this and just brute force now, i have to say jagex did a really good job of not putting any unnecessary stalls in here uh, with previous boss releases they sort of had phases where you can't hit or build adrenaline or whatever so it's really nice to see they have learned from that um, on the other hand obviously it does make it very brute forcible um, so yeah in essence sunshines or big damage at the start uh, watch for the blue sort of outsourced hits. They're ma magic attacks. The rest of it's ranged. And then this little purple timer is just like the first boss in ED1 where you have to just move it away. These Zaros or ZGS specs as people call them are you just have to apply a stun to each one. Doesn't matter who as long as one of you does. Normally it's best to do obviously it's just a normal impact one each of you. But depends where they spawn. They don't spawn next to you um, all the time. After that then just refresh. Uh, and you can just 
sort of tank these little minions that spawn. You can't actually do any damage to them, so it's a slightly strange. I think they might be there for revenge stacking, maybe in the future the meta, especially solo. That'd be pretty good. Um, after that, just resun. And you'll see that Seriyu actually spawns here. And it's worth noting that he heals you to full. So when you're sort of getting close to this bit, you don't actually need to eat any food because he'll heal you to full. And then just pray ranged and uh, literally do damage. It's not very um, difficult. It spawns these black hands which go around. Um, they have a sort of mechanic which once they've spawned, um, they sort of go around in a circle and it does mimic that. But you basically just ignore it completely here. Um, Make sure you're using Titan as well. It does help with damage, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, DPS, that's literally it. Oh, and they forgot to apply this noted, so you get it. Bring magic note paper, I realised after this drop, but yeah. I appreciate there's not much mechanics, etc. covered in this video, and there's lots of the sort of aspects of the ambassador fight that in a solo or duo you don't even see, or they just skip through the phases completely. Um, so hopefully I'll get that up for you guys soon. Other than that, good luck, and feel free to check your comments, questions, queries down below and I will answer those to the best of my knowledge.